This is a Mike explanation. What is a Mike explanation? That's how people named Mike explain things. What are we going to do today? We're going to create a track arrangement template. Let's do this. We're using Reaper. Open Reaper. See a little mouse right here? Take that little mouse right here. Double click right there. Create you a track. Go over here. Y'all Yo, see that, right? Y'all paying attention. Go over here, little white bar. And we're going to just name this template track one all right actually we're just gonna let's go back and just name it template track and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control c control v boom 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 i'm gonna create a couple of them real quick and for the sake of this we are going to hit control a we're going to right click on our pad or our mouse we're going to go to track color and for this demonstration, we're just going to set these tracks to random colors. All right, boom. Now you have all these multicolor tracks. Right click on this track here. Let's create, let's get a track icon. All right, so let's just go with beat. See if we have an icon for beat. So our instrumental will go there. Right click on this. Create a track, set a track icon. I'm sorry. Um, not to make it about gender, but let's just put male vocals here. Main. All right. Oops, sorry. I was looking for the male. Let's put a male head there. Let's go down here. Let's go to track icon, set icon. Let's go to female. All right, so this will be our female vocal template. Let's go to, let's go to chorus, right? The chorus would act as our doubles or our ad libs. Do we have chorus? No. Do we have choir? No. What do we have down here? Let's group. There we go. We got group. And then let's just do one more. Mm, let's go for film. Just for the heck of it. Just to show you how to create the template. So we'll go here. We'll save our project. I saved it under template already. Um, project template, save project template as template one. All right. So let's exit out of Reaper. Let's go back into Reaper. And automatically it's going to open up what we just completed. So let's go to a new project. Let's go to project templates. I spelled that wrong. And there, here we go. So now, you know, you put your beat here, you put your main vocals here, and then you'll do this for every song that you create, but every song is going to be different. So, you know, you might want to make a few different templates. You might want to have a few different templates available. You might want to do a song that you know is going to have three or four features on, and you might be the type that needs to look at all the gaps. And say, okay, well, I know not, I'm not going to record there because this is exactly where I want so-and-so to record. Um, it, it's, it's beneficial to who it's beneficial to. It's not a necessity, but it does make things a little easier to have a template ready for the team to work with when they come on board um, or for yourself or any project. So that was my explanation. It was a lot of this and a lot of that, and I'm pretty sure you guys got it all. All right, then. And uh, yeah, wait, where we at? Shout out to Dixon Trucking, Mag Harbor City, New Jersey. End of transmission.